Right guys, welcome back to the COP TV. It's myself and Flex. We meet again. Hey, good to have you on the channel. Big up, man. Bro, like smash that like button. Way. Thank you, man. Like and set, not like what's on it, but it looks, yeah, it's neatly enough. positioned and good angles and that. Yeah, well, we've got the neon light. We've got Harvey's boots, Bobby's boots. That's good. Got a little Gus chilling. <laughs> oh, is that Gus? Oh, yes, Gus. <laughs> well, that's a bulldog. Gus is a Frenchie. Um, just for your information, this video today is brought to you by Hello Fresh, Ooh. right? Flex has been working with them as well. Here is the video that is gonna convince you to sign up and get involved with Hello Fresh. This is the kind of cooking I'm normally used to on DR Sports, but thankfully my girlfriend takes care of the meals I eat in Liverpool. But tonight's a special night. My Hello Fresh delivery box has arrived, so I'll be cooking, and it's totally foolproof for an on-the-go lifestyle just like mine. Even little Gus is absolutely buzzing. Caught up in the hassle of the daily cooking routine, we'll let HelloFresh handle the meal prep with easy step-by-step -step healthy recipes. Cook up joy in less than 25 minutes with their tasty meals because everyone needs to eat, right? Well, have I got a deal for you. Use code COPTV to get a huge 60% off your first order plus 20% off the next two months. This also applies in Ireland too. Make food fun with HelloFresh and say hello to convenience, variety, and deliciousness in one box. Unveil the excitement of pre-portioned goodness delivered right to your door. It's time to eat. Cost conscious or simply saving for a trip to Anfield starting at just £3.15 per serving, HelloFresh has got your budget-friendly, tasty meals covered. Just like this prawn passanda curry, even the missus is happy. And trust me, that's not easy. Scan the QR code now to get involved. You will not regret it. So yes, get involved with HelloFresh. Use the code COPTV to get 60% off your first order and then 20% off the next two months orders. Mad. Flex is also uh, involved with HelloFresh. How have you found it so it's far? It's so easy, man. You know, like when you, we live busy lives. We do, or, man. Do you know what I'm saying? It's, it's difficult to, to get everything done and you worry about your food shop. You just, you just order that. You've got your week's meals or however many you've ordered. And all your, it's all there. It's all oh, laid yeah. out. You get your recipe cards. And what I like is that you can choose meals that are done within 15 minutes. If you're a bit more experienced, you want a bit more of a challenge, you could do 20, 25. And, ev and obviously, look, listen, cost of living ain't easy. You can get some meals for as little as like three pound twenty-five, bro. See? All in, That's all what in. We like to no hear. excuses for not have fresh food. Honestly, I'm not a big cook, right? I'll be honest with you, I'm not. But getting HelloFresh, I've had three of their meals this week. I had the prawn curry, I had the uh, Caribbean jerk uh, pulled pork, and I had the paella as well. And I'm a bit of a fool in the kitchen. Whenever I start making it, Teen goes, "Just move out the way. Let me do it." <laughs> But she actually trusted me. Because you can't happy. go wrong. It's foolproof. Exactly. For fools. <laughs> <laughs> and people who are actually good at cooking as well. 100%. But like you say, man, we lead busy lives. We're up and down the country all the time. It's difficult to get that you know, healthy, nutritious food in. But we can do it with HelloFresh. So if you'd like to get involved, because everyone needs to eat flex, right? We're not out here saying drink this or gamble. with. Everyone needs to eat. So make sure you get involved. You cannot go wrong. Let's get into the game. Um, the FA Cup tie. Right when it comes to English football, uh, the fifteenth different campaign that we faced Manchester United in in the FA Cup, ten wins for you guys, five wins for us, um, and only Everton and Liverpool have actually met more times in the competition's history. In the FA Cup recently, you've actually been better than us. Yeah, you, we have, you beat yeah. us three two, I think, a couple of years ago. You beat us two one a couple of years ago. Covid. Mm. Over season. I mean, th oh. that was obviously um, spliced in between a couple slumpings at Old Trafford. Mm. Um, but, but in the cup, not so much. So. so my question is, does it give you a little bit more confidence that it is in the FA Cup against Liverpool? Because uh, we are playing you again. We'll be yeah. back around this table exactly. in, in about two, three weeks doing it yeah. all over again. But talk to me about the FA Cup. Yeah, the games are coming thick and fast in terms of against Liverpool. There's yep. not really anywhere to hide. Like You just have to be up for it. And... <sighs> The fact that it's in the cup does give like a little different edge for either team. It's just yep. it's the magic of the cup, you know, for FA sure. Cup, the old, oldest competition. Like it is prestigious. It is a big cup. And on cup days when you've got extra time slash penalties Ooh. has to be done. Oh. It can be dealt with. You know what I mean? There ain't no sort of, we're trying to hang in there and they could draw or yeah. vice versa. You're in Doesn't a title like race that. and stuff like that. Like it's, it's do or die. And I just see it as one mission for Man United. I've said it before and I'll say it. And that, and even now I'm on Cop TV, I'm not going to not say it. No, you've got to be I've consistent. said it, it's out there already. It's on DR. It's, it's on going to be on United View. It's, hit. it's on wax. Like I'm all in for this fixture, but I'm putting it all on the line. I am giving myself to this fixture. In, <laughs> bro, no, unequivocally, bro. Great work. One or two things going to happen. Either I'm going to have to hold it 
bad. But I don't believe we will. I think we're going to win this game because we have to win it. You ain't even got to predictions yet, bro. I'm fast forwarding. All right. Bro. I am all in. And you know why I'm all in? Because it's been a shit season. There's not been anything to shout about. But this is this is the last. This is this it. This is it. Like, for there's you, 10 games left. It. Yeah, like for us, you can say how the mighty have fallen and this, that and the other. We know the story of Man United. I ain't here to go into on a Liverpool channel looking for sympathy as to why Man United is so shit. We know that. But you're our biggest rivals, bro. Like, th- it's Man United against Liverpool at Old Trafford. It doesn't get bigger. Like it don't, in our fixture list, like for me, it don't get bigger. And I'm like, I'm not about to just sit here after a crap season and be like, oh man, Liverpool have been at it. Oh, oh, don't even matter if they play the kids, they're still I mean, on all it. of that is true. It's well. true. No, that's what I'm saying. But yeah. what I'm saying is I'm not going to, I know that's true. But we're Man United. It's the biggest game. I'm not about to just sit here and feel sorry for ourselves. I'm just going to go for it all. Because if we win, if we win, yeah, I'm not going to say it could be season transformation because it can't. <laughs> like, so, there's only 10 games there. But if we win, it can give the cat, like, it's the only thing we left, left to play for. We're still in the competition, get to Wembley, see what happens in the semis. And, and with Liverpool out the competition as well, if we win, like it's, it's huge. It is massive. So obviously, yeah, probably at least City you've got to get past, but it's not easy. You've got to play the big teams and they don't come bigger than Man United, Liverpool at Does Old it? Trafford. So I'm all in, bro. I'm all in. You know what? I'll be honest with you. I respect that because if I was in your shoes, I would be putting everything on the line as well because what else can What's you... the point being shook? You have to have everything yeah. on the line for this one. Bro, we had 7-0, bro. Like, did it, like Jurgen Klopp, and this is another thing I'm going to say. Go on. Jurgen Klopp has given me and United fans some of the most awful awful days good and exactly good and i'm and i'm not here to see him give us another one on his fucking way out like no it needs to be the other way around we need to send him packing there ain't no on his on his last cup game in english football at old trafford he leaves with a w and carries on his march for the for the for the quadruple no not on our watch is what it needs to be <laughs> is what it needs to be bro. didn't you say this when you played uh, City in the final well? you had to stop them is. and the question is can go. Manchester United stop us there's no one out here saying that the quadruple is a done thing but it is an opportunity that is in your hands that is in your stadium to just stop no yeah, just put it to maximum bed. three not four that's what you have the opportunity to do now if I asked you this I'd like to hear your answer if you had to choose just one game to win between this one and the league game, what would it be? This one. Be this one. This one. Because... Are you just giving and I up say that no, and no top four, no top five? Well, top I, five might even they're get both, you. Yeah, exactly. And, and look, it is, you're asking me to choose one, in it? Obviously, Have it's against Liverpool. One. Like, I want to win both. Whoever, yeah, I don't want to ever say I don't one. mind losing. You never don't mind losing to Liverpool. It's always just, just horrible as a United fan. Um, but if you're asking me to pick one, it's still will die, isn't it? It's a chance for a trophy. Like, we're not going to win the Premier League, of course. Fifth has opened up now, yeah. um, which I still think is is difficult. We're six points behind Spurs, and they got a game in hand. Let's say they win that as nine points, but they've got a group of twelve points games where yeah. they go from Newcastle all the way through City, Man City, yeah, big like Man City that. Liverpool. Uh, who else do they play? Someone else hard. Newcastle, City, Liverpool, and someone else. There's four games anyway. Um, City, Liverpool, and Arsenal. Yeah. And Arsenal, sorry, that's Massive. it. So that's Doesn't like a twelve-point swing. Yeah, you know what I mean. But I still, I, I still think it's unlikely. So you're saying FA Cup? FA Cup, man. See, do you know what? FA Cup. I'm the opposite. If you said to me right here, right now, and again, let us know in the it's comments if you agree yeah. or disagree. I would say give me the Prem win because, in my opinion, I'd rather win the Prem than the FA Cup. Obviously, we want to win both. Yeah. But again, I'm giving you the same conditions. If I had to choose one, it would be the Prem. But let us yeah. know in the comments. That makes sense for you. Yeah. You Injuries. Um, I'm hearing Hoyland is back. I'm hearing Martinez still not back. You know what? At the what's, time of, at the the time of recording, of... Uh, let me just double check. From what I know from before, the press is like, while we're actually yeah, doing yeah, yeah. So give me that today. as well. Um, I think Hoyland should be back. There's not going to be any Martinez, I know that. Mason Mount, probably it'd be too early. Yeah. Um, I forgot to even play for you. Yeah, Harry Maguire, I think, is back. Um, Good. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Still nothing yet, actually. Um, who else is back for Man United? Still got a lot of injuries. Johnny Evans is injured. Oof. 
big player that, for us. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> I never thought I'd say that. Yeah. But that well, he didn't get selected for the Northern Ireland squad. Yeah, so that, um, that tells you that he can't be involved. So yeah, but so but no, but he didn't get called up because he's been nursing an injury which they, they want to just contain. And so he's he, getting on a bit. And so. he's getting on a bit. So he still might be all right, but it right. means you just can't go on international duty and play again yeah. after Liverpool. Maybe, I'm trying but. to work out what kind of team you guys are going to go with. Um, it's going to be full strength with the players available, I assume. It <laughs> has to be. There ain't going to be no, I'll save him for next no, year. It's it in national break as well. Like. That's it. And so I, that's why I, I actually think we're going to go back. Strength. That's it. Which is, I know that might sound to you, mate, who cares? For us, we ain't got no fullbacks. Yeah. So the only fit fullback has been Dallow. So the and fact he's that he's back. All right. Yeah, he's been very good. He's yeah. been very good. In, in a shit season, well. he's, he's, he's been all right. So yeah, at least we can have two fullbacks on the pitch. Probably put Dallow left back and one second right back or mm. vice versa. And centre backs? Uh, centre back, Varane's there. I think it'll be, if Maguire's fit, he'll probably play. Probably go Varane. Varane. Yeah, but if not, it'll be Everton. And what, Actually, Bruno, Casemiro? Bruno, Casemiro, Menu. But I'm, I'm, I'm here for something. 3-5-2. I'm changing five, it. Two. I'm going to 3-5-2. I'll go, I'll go Rash, Rashford and Hoyland up front, I'd go. Okay, as a two, yeah, See, I wouldn't I actually mind doing think that. We we work better when there's two up against us yeah. instead of one because it's a bit more obvious where the players are going to line up. The yeah. one can kind of slip in between the channels between mm. any of the four defenders, but when it's two, I think we know where we are. Yeah, we've got two there, and we know we've got. And this is what I was going to say in terms of our team. Klopp has to go strong because, as you say, we've got a nice thirteen day break until we come back for the Brighton game. Obviously, we've just got Atalanta in the Europa League. Is that how you got? Atalanta in the quarterfinals. We smashed up Sparta Prague again last night. What was the final Bobby score? Bobby Klopp, 6-1. Uh, was it? Yeah, 4-0 okay, yeah. after what, 20 what minutes. What was that on mate. aggregate? 11-2 uh, <laughs> on aggregate, yeah. So we're goals. <laughs> we're, we've got the goals in the bag. Bobby Clark scored his first goal for Liverpool last night. Soboslai scored, Nunes scored, Salah scored again. Now he's seven seasons in a row where he's got at least 20 in all comps. I mean, four in of a those row. have got... Thir four of those are 30 plus but in a row um joke so the goals are flying Gakpo scored again last night which is good to see as well um so listen in terms of the team I'll, I'll go Kelleher in goal um this game obviously comes way too early for Trent <clears throat> there are kind of rumors that he might be back for the Brighton game uh, alongside Allison, but Kelleher mm. has just been incredible mate honestly watching him in the flesh is yeah, he's good. been Allison like so it will be Bradley Konate Virgil and Robbo that's oh, Konate back Canate will be back. Okay. Um, he was rested last night. Quansar again, though. Unlucky Every player that steps in. Well, oh, he could play. He mm. could play. And, and again, I don't think there'd be many eyebrows raised about that. Midfield. <laughs> was it Robertson left back? Yeah. yeah. Or Simakas or Gomez. Exactly. <laughs> Take your pick. Um, they all, all played last Surely night, to go be Robertson. fair. Surely for this game, yeah. And then middle, my boy, Batoro, mm. um, with Maka. And then Sovoslai in the midfield. You could chop in a, a Harvey Elliott, who again, shout out to him because he's played seven games in a row. He's been incredible in the absence of you know Salah, but also dropping into midfield. And then it will be Salah, Nunez and Diaz, man. So <laughs> apart, take out Alisson and Trent. That is our full strength team. How do you feel about that? We know, we know, like we know, we know bro. Like yeah. <laughs> a Liverpool full strength team ain't ain't foreign to me. <laughs> like I know what Liverpool are packing. I know what Liverpool are on. Um, which is why, listen, every day of the week and twice on Sunday, on the on the paper, this Liverpool team is way better than United. Yeah. It, it is, and they should be beating this United team. That's why we have to bridge that gap in quality um, by doing things right, playing with intensity, playing bullish, almost almost making it that we want it more than you because you've got other stuff to play for because you've got stuff you can fall back on. This is we have to play like this is this is, is there our no last excuses game. for you on Sunday. Well. There's no, what, there's no excuses not to have the right attitude and approach the game like that. No, you can't say there's no excuses for not beating Liverpool because Liverpool are a fucking good, <laughs> good team. You can lose again. You can't. You don't have a given right. Yeah. To beat <laughs> Liverpool, so there's no, but there's no excuses in terms of going out on a whimper, not competing with Liverpool, not showing that we want it. Atmosphere not being there, players not responding, players not running. Like you know, there's no excuses for that type of thing. But I'm not going to sit here and say it's impossible that we lose against Liverpool because because it isn't but but um yeah we have to we have to be be ready but that that the two up front I was saying I was like yeah I'm here for that and I can see it but I can't see that happening Eric Ten Hag won't yeah, do that won't do you know Ganacho's in a good place Ra especially if Rasmus Hoyland's back them three were scoring a lot of goals and creating for Rasmus Hoyland I don't think he'll do it, change it all in one game and um I'm going to draw a parallel on when we beat you at um Old Trafford last year 
third game of the season. Yeah, it was we early, just come off it? the back of um, losing the first two games to Brighton. I think and Nunes then we got slapped by Brentford. Was he? So he 4-0. Four 4-0 four we lost against um, uh, Brentford. Yeah. And we had Liverpool next. And everyone was going. Man United have finished. And we came out. Sancho. And we just... Yeah, Sancho when he sat down. Milner and... Uh, well, Van Dyke when he's yeah. done the mannequin challenge that one remember okay, but now so Van Dyke's no, back, back to being the best there. ever in again now so and, he's been and, amazing and so and that is he's, correct. In, he's, he's that not the best ever but he's been amazing he's well, been amazing solid he seems to be Properly in your leader. head every day no, I no, see no, you're no, talking no, about no. is Van Dyke the best on all these different platforms? they ask me the question I just keep getting asked the question if you keep asking me the question I'm you see what Gary Taylor Fletcher said yesterday on Twitter yeah about Vidic yeah and then sat down Vidic twice yeah and then we just I saw someone else put out a good response to that saying yes sat down Vidic when Man United end up winning the league we relegated Blackpool um, yeah, come said, on, you, know, you can't have a go at Blackpool. Well, Man's just trying calm to Calm down, flex. bro. Calm down, bro. <laughs> Pause. Cal calm down, bro. Um, you know what I'm saying? Levels. But no. Um, but yeah, we're ready. Yeah, we man. have to be ready. We're ready. And I think the first 20 minutes, if we can almost quiet down the crowd, keep control of the ball. We need to do the opposite. Force you into kind of making mistakes. Press, press, the press. Opposite. I'm really looking forward to this game. And I almost go into it knowing that, listen, whatever happens, I know for a fact that because of you know the other competitions that we're fighting for I'm still confident that even if we lose this game we're going to go on and have yeah, an unforgettable well, yeah. season but I'll be honest man by the way very different kind of confidence to the last time we came or the last time you came to Anford obviously I was expecting a madness <laughs> so I ain't doing that's that that's what today. I was going to say how do you I'm no, I know I know you're doing like we said on DR and I was animated I was like nah you lot are letting him play it down because he's saying I don't really care if we lose not don't really care but it's a prem I, I want still think we'll win I'll and, be quietly yeah, confident but how do you feel like be honest, playing Man United, and you know that we're like, you know, we're up and down, whatever. In the back of your head, is there like they can turn up, like, and they can, you know, you never know. Or it's like, nah, they, these are shit. Like, be honest, like, what do you actually think? I, if I, I wasn't sitting here, if you weren't sitting there, <laughs> I'll say the same because you are sitting here. You have to perform. This game means more to you than it does to us. What What I was going to come back and ask you was, what would the feeling then be if you lost this game on Sunday? Because if you win, great. You probably play City and you go to Wembley the other day out. But what would the feeling be if you got slapped up? Yeah, bad, bad, Super, bad. Yeah, are that, we talking like change the manager? Job defining and stuff. Well, nah, because he can't. In the last ten games of the you're season, you're not going to do it. Then, not going to happen. So whatever's going to happen is going to happen. But I've can, heard you say in the past that like, you don't expect him to be the manager for next season. I don't. Um, you know, David Ornstein says you know up until this point, there's still no official word right. that he's going to get sacked. We don't know. Um, and there's half of me that wants him to be in a new structure and. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to bore you guys on the Liverpool channel with all that stuff, right? But... Yeah, go um, to United View for yeah, that. Yeah, go to United View for that. This is a cop TV. Mm -hmm. um, but I will say that it's... If we lose and lose badly, it because it, it's against you as well, a lot can turn, intensify even more. Like, because a lot of people that are still supporting Ten Hag and, you know, but if we... And, 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 and you know what? The next home game, even though there's games in between, is you again. If we take two slappings Oof, in, that's, in that's back to back home games, settings. a lot will turn. Yeah. A lot will be like, nah, man. That's just embarrassing. Us. So, uh, I wanted yeah. to uh, test your knowledge a bit on the FA Cup God. history between oh, Manchester God. United and Liverpool. Um, God, I've got a few questions for you, right? I'll give you two options. So I'm being nice. I'm okay. actually giving you options. Yeah. Um, first one Who became the first man born outside the UK and Ireland to lift the FA Cup as captain in the 96 final? You remember it was Eric Cantona's Eric? first game back. Yeah, I remember yeah. from his ban. So game. the two uh, names I'll give you: Schmeichel or Cantona. Cantona. Correct. Yeah. It was. Um, it was he scored the game. winner mm. in the 85th minute. It was the Spice Boys game, of course. Um, yeah, one of them. Who scored the stoppage time winner in Manchester United's 2-1 win over Liverpool in the fourth round of the FA Cup 1999? I think you did go on to win it that year as well. Was it A. David Beckham or B. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? Beckham. It's so Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, yeah. who scored. Uh, we were actually 1-0 up in the 89th minute, and he'd done a madness. I think Cole and Solskjaer scored. But he scored. That's one out of two. Who scored the only goal as Liverpool beat Manchester United 1-0 at Anfield in the fifth round in 2006? Was it A, the big man, my mate, Peter Crouch, or was it B, the Aussie Beckham, Harry Kuehl? Harry Kuehl. I go crouchy. Correct. It was the 19th minute header 
Um, there was an attempt to save it by uh, Van der Sar, hit the post and then rolled right across, hit the other Got post and went in. Oh, right. When no, it was, okay. it was a great header from Crouchy. Uh, um, the celebrations for that goal, as you can see, fans running on the pitch and stuff. Should Shout out Steve with the cross. He probably was. <laughs> this was a long time ago. Uh, here's a good one. Liverpool's 2006 FA Cup win over Manchester United was their first in how many years? Was it 45, 65 or 85 years? Tough well, one, that. I don't even us. know that. What were, the, what were the answers? So, 45, 65, or 85 years. 85 um, is too long. 65. You're going 65. It was 85. Wow. Look Liverpool, at the dominance. Bro, Liverpool hadn't beaten That's United nice. in an FA Cup tie since, guess what year? Do the math. 2006, you said it? 1921. So, oh, we, be we beat you in 06 in the FA Cup, yeah. but we hadn't oh, before for that. 85 oh, years that's before mad. that. It is proper, man. Dominance, mate. Nah, well, listen. Here's one, though. Uh, which Liverpool player was sent off in their 1 0 defeat by Manchester United in the third round? I remember this game. It was horrible. It was very close, actually, to that game, uh, the Berbatov hat trick game. Was it Gerard or Skirtle? Which player was sent off in 2011? Skirtle. Steven Gerrard, actually. He's had a few red cards against Manchester United. Howard Webb, of course, giving it. Yeah, might as well have been wearing a United <laughs> kit that day, the sausage. Um, but yeah, 32 Bare minutes, games, I forgot. You know, like, because you see so many games and you have to think of specific, specific games. It's mad how many times we've played you. Another yeah. one. Who was in charge of Liverpool when they beat United 2-1 in the fourth round of the FA Cup in 2012? So we played you two years in a row in the 2012. FA Cup. 2012. Was it Roy Hodgson or Kenny Dalglish? Who was your manager in 12? Dalglish had a horrible time, didn't he? Not really. Won us a cup. Got to the final of another cup, the FA Cup this year as well. Hodgson or Kenny? No, Hodgson had a shit time, didn't he? Oh, yeah. That now, that was a was poor a time. Kenny. So, what are you going with? But you beat us. We, be we beat you 2-1. I'm going to say, for the Liverpool heritage, I'm going to say it's Kenny Dalglish who and got the win. It was correct. Yeah. Uh, it's Kenny Dalglish. I don't think Roy Hodgson would have it in him. No. Who scored the winner in the most recent meeting between the two sides in the fourth round in 2021? Was it Bruno or Edison Cavani? Ah, oh, Bruno scored a free kick. Alisson, far post. Was that the winner? We were in our teal kit. Yeah. And we also beat you 4-2 that year in the league at Old yeah, Trafford. Yeah, I thought no you were dead and buried. Yeah. Nat Phillips and them, man. Reese Williams, hold uh, tight. Uh... Cavani it's Bruno it oh, was, was it that was the that winner? free kick yeah, did Cavani in score in that game though? minute 3-2 um, I swear Cavani scored in that game I, I think he might have but it wasn't right, wasn't we the winner. answer I was okay. looking for I do remember that free kick though Great free kick. And, and I already gave you this answer, so you should be listening for this. Uh, Liverpool have been eliminated from the FA Cup by United more times than any other opponent. How many times have they knocked them out? 10, 6 or 3? 6. No, it was 10, mate. I said oh, that in the first said fact six. of the game. I said 6. I said you 10, oh. we're 5. Oh. You got 5 out of 8. It's not bad. Not too bad. Not, bad. not too bad. Right, let's get on to score predictions. This is the bit that you've all tuned in for, I'm sure. I'll go first as the away team. I got two, right? One is have two. One is let's have some fun. Yeah, <laughs> let's let's do this. No, I care about the one you're going with. I don't care That's about three one. one. The let's have some fun one. Right, but two one. I'll go Liverpool to win. Um, again, I just think, but but it all depends on the fans, how up for it they are, the atmosphere. Which fans? Our fans. Your fans. We'll, no, we'll be up for it. It's just whether whether the players are. Yeah. So then it carries on. But this, there's so many variables into me finding out if you're going to be really up for it and have a good game, which they can do. Listen, they are at home. They should be up for it. There is no excuses for Manchester United to not be up for it. If you can't get up for it for a fifth round FA Cup tie at home against Liverpool and you're Manchester United, you might as well, walk out, you might as well just pack your bags and go because there's just no excuses. So I will go 2-1, but I'm expecting a fierce game. Obviously, I, I'm saying that we're going to concede one. So I'll go 2 1. I'll go Salah because, as we know, United, Old Trafford is a bit of a playground for him. Um, and then I'll go Nunez because, in terms of European strikers right now, he's up there. And let's not forget the bet that you and I had about who's going to score more this season Nunez or Hoyland, £50. So he I'll, was catching I will him up be, and he fucking got injured. Yeah, so I will be collecting. Uh, how do you want to do that? Cash or. What's he on now? Bitcoin or. In the Prem, what's he on? Uh. Still Sorry. might be closer than you think, mate. There's still time. You know, so are we doing all comps or just Prem? 
I, we didn't really say, did we? Well, we problem. can go back and look because I'm sure it's there yeah. somewhere. In the Prem, it's 10. And, and, and he's eight got seven. assists. And, and, and your boy yeah, has got seven. And he's got seven. Yeah. So, yeah. But Nunes, 17 in all comps. Yeah. 12 assists, mate. 30 goal contributions. I think, think he's got. Uh, I think he's got 14 in all comps. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. No, I still, yeah, right, I'll, still love it. Yeah, I'll still love all it, right. mate. What's I'll your score prediction then? Um, all right. Since you had a bit of, like two. I'll, all right. Let's get you know your I mean? two as well. I'm sticking with my 2 0 United. Like, so you don't that's, think that's, that's, the, score? that's the, no, that's the party, but I've like, that's what you hope. Like, yeah, like 2 0, Rasmus and Rashford. Let's have some score. fun. That's your score. And then my other one is 2 1 United. Okay. All right. Oh, we're going to win. <laughs> really? We're going to win. Chest. Yeah, we have you to. Don't forget, I will be seeing you, bro. I don't care, bro. First thing. If I've seen me Sunday, bro, at the gate, after the thing, I don't care. It's mad. I'll, right. I'll I'll hold anything. We we ha we're gonna win because we have to. Klopp's not doing this to us again, bro. He's not doing it. And is it gonna be a similar match preview for the the game in the league as well? Depends or what happens in this one. Depends <laughs> what in this. If we get slapped, then I might all just right, give it. All right. I'm I'm all in for this one. I didn't say anything about it. All one. right. Well, listen, guys. Let's get your predictions, your team lineup predictions in the comments as well. I want to see some fun down there. Please go over and uh, subscribe to the United View, doing great stuff. Obviously, me and Flex are sitting around the table on DR twice a week as well. So go and subscribe to DR. And do not forget, this video is brought to you today by HelloFresh. Use code COPTV. That's all you need to do. We've also got the QR code in uh, on the screen for you now. So make sure you use that if you'd like to be involved in HelloFresh, as we've both spoken about it. It's almost transformed our lives because we're on the go, busy men. And just to have a quick meal, healthy meal as well, that's the most important thing. You know, we're, we're pushing on now. We're trying to go to gym, stay healthy, play mate. football, stay <laughs> healthy, be nutritious. So it's all very important. But let's get your score predictions in the chat below. Go over to United View. We're going to do a preview there as well. I'm sure that's going to be fireworks. And make sure you smash that like button, comment and subscribe. Come on, the Reds. Massive game against United. No excuses. Me and Doyle will be here on Sunday oh, to give you all the latest oh, lowdown. Doyle. And then we'll be sat around <laughs> this table again Monday morning for the new Hot Copics time of nine o'clock Monday mornings. It's the, you can't get fresher than that. Lastly, yes. this is a message to Doyle, actually. Oh, yeah? What you got I to don't, say? I don't, and even you, but it depends, how you, all right. it depends how you get I'm on. I'm sitting here. Let's go. I don't care if it's fucking... Sit back. Oh, it's anti football. Oh, you, you, you embarrassed. You beat us in that. I don't want to hear don't nothing. Hear what Doyle said. That was Doyle last Yeah, time, I know. Yeah? I don't, I don't want it. Just a loss is a loss. Fussy, lads. Yeah. Just the fact that we didn't go lads. toe to toe or footy. the loss or the, the game wasn't how you wanted Man United to play. I don't give a shit. If we get, if we're victorious. Get the result then. That's what I'm saying. That's what, no, we'll, I'm saying. We'll, we'll play what, our game. You're going to play, you're going to play the way. That's we're going to play our game. Because you're a better team. So yeah. what I'm saying is. If Man United win, if we lose, come with all the smoke. Hold that 100%. Yeah, yeah, all of that. If we, get a res if we win, I don't want to hear it. That's all I'm saying. All right. Well, That's the listen. only thing I ask. That's the only thing we I ask. We will see what happens. There is if no you lose, hold place. it properly. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. There's no hiding I place. Will. And Flex yeah. or myself will have a big pile of mud on our faces <laughs> come Monday morning. So listen, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. And we'll see you soon. Take care. This is the kind of cooking I'm normally used to on DR Sports. But thankfully, my girlfriend takes care of the meals I eat in Liverpool. But tonight's a special night. My HelloFresh delivery box has arrived. So I'll be cooking. And it's totally foolproof for an on-the-go lifestyle just like mine. Even little Gus is absolutely buzzing. Caught up in the hassle of the daily cooking routine, we'll let HelloFresh handle the meal prep with easy step-by-step -step healthy recipes. Cook up joy in less than 25 minutes with their tasty meals because everyone needs to eat, right? Well, have I got a deal for you. Use code COPTV to get a huge 60% off your first order, plus 20% off the next two months. This also applies in Ireland too. Make food fun with HelloFresh and say hello to convenience, variety, and deliciousness in one box. Unveil the excitement of pre-portioned goodness delivered right to your door. It's time to eat. Cost conscious or simply saving for a trip to Anfield starting at just £3.15 per serving, HelloFresh has got your budget-friendly, tasty meals covered. Just like this prawn passanda curry, even the missus is happy. And trust me, that's not easy. Scan the QR code now to get involved. You will not regret it. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed this, make sure you check out the rest of the channel too. There's other stuff you'll enjoy for sure. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Cop TV. The, the voice, voice of football's, football's most famous, famous dad. dad. Come on.